In an age of terrorism, we're being told that threats are increasingly hard to detect and prevent. Governments claim the need for greater security and seek to monitor global communications while citizens, more willing than ever to share, demand greater protection of their digital privacy. The Davos Economic Summit was recently held in Switzerland in January of 2016. Among many of the topics being discussed, privacy and secrecy in a digital age was in the forefront. And that is what we're going to cover in this video report. I want you to pay special attention to the comments and observations by an Amira Yehyawi, who is a hacker and activist, in line with those comments and assessments presented by Daryl Issa. It is important to note that throughout this discussion, absent the element of terrorism, a threat that is everywhere yet nowhere, none of these discussions would be relevant and the concept of total surveillance required for the establishment of a totalitarian state would not be tolerated in what was historically defined as a free society. Without the terrorism element, an enemy that can't be defined has no national borders or associations, an enemy that can't be identified and yet is everywhere, an enemy so beautifully crafted that in order to be protected from it, you're being told that the only way the government can afford you this protection is for you to relinquish all aspects of your personal privacy. In opening discussions, one of the first questions asked of the panel members was, should government be allowed to read people's emails? The prevailing response was, if they're a suspect, then yes. If they're not a suspect, then no. This question would serve to lay the groundwork for the remaining one hour, 25 minute discussion. I will leave a link in the description box and urge all of you to listen to the points and counterpoints being made as they will affect all of us.